Hello everyone, Abdul Muqsid here with another episode of Croco Tips. Today we will discuss how you can fetch products or order or other information of WooCommerce from one website to another website with the help of REST API. So let's start. All right. I have this website which is built with WooCommerce and WordPress. It has a lot of products and orders. I want to show it in this website which I built right now. It's a fresh new website and I want to show it here. Step number one is go to your WooCommerce website and click on WooCommerce and settings. You want to check the REST API is enabled or not. Click on advanced and here you will find REST API. Here I already created several API credentials which I use for mobile application or testing. You will click on add key and name it something like jet engine v2 okay and here you need to specify the user and the permission read write right now we need only read permission generate api it will give you consumer key and consumer secret remember it's only one time created if you click on save or you move from this page you will not see it again so i will copy consumer key let's paste it here and consumer secret and paste here i hope it's correct paste okay so from the source website it's done already now the next step is go to your website dashboard and head over to jet engine and click on rest api endpoint in our last tutorial we have discussed wordpress based rest api or cct today we will be discussing woocommerce here we need to create a new endpoint endpoint name is woo rest api and endpoint url for endpoint url if you are not sure i will paste the link in description woocommerce rest api has all endpoints mentioned here Today we will be discussing the product endpoint. I will copy the link from here, the endpoint. Insert my website URL and JSON slash WC stands for WooCommerce version 3 and products. Now, some of you might be confused about the insertion of consumer and secret key. What you have to do is question mark consumer key equal to we need to pass it in query variable and secret underscore key equal to this one copy and let's paste it at the end of our URL let's test our connection unauthorized i think we have some problem with the url i already tried it in postman i will quickly copy it and paste it here now here i have offset and page we will be discussing it later so i will remove it send request and the request is successful you don't need to enter path id item path or authorization everything is fine now regarding the offset and per page if you want to in to fetch only one record you can have per page as a query variable and enter one you can have it 100 or 1000 as per your need and offset mean from which record it should start so i have one record which start from product 50 all right let's click on save now in order to display your rest api you have two methods either you can go with the listing or you can go with table builder so listing is very easy you can directly fetch the items and display it there i will try to use table builder so in order to use table builder we need a query first let's go to query add new and let's name it products query 
from query type we will choose rest api and here the endpoint we will choose woo let's display our data so we got 10 records by default woocommerce will push 10 records only if you change per page it can give you 100 also now important thing uh, some members in croco block community was asking about filtration i tried it last time even now i will try but it's not working maybe it's under development or maybe it's a bug i'm not sure croco block team should check this if i want to filter it by key for example here i have id 5858 so i will enter id 5858 so it should fetch only one record not 10 but again this filtration is not working so we are not using it here remove and let's save our query the next step is to display the records or products in table add new product table i will choose query product query and let's fetch the data so we have fetch the data column number one is product id we need to fetch from raw value and fetch column and id new column product name raw value fetch column and we will choose name now if you go to post main you will find all these fields which you can call so you can get the one which are important for example price and uh, stock availability sku and so on let me choose some more sku fetch column and sku and the last one we will choose the price raw value fetch column and price i need one last column which is full details and it should be permalink okay uh, let's preview our data so we got 10 records product id product name sku price and full details now here full detail is not clickable it is very important most of the members in community usually asking that they are getting link in table but it's not clickable it has very easy hack just click on customize column output this is our value this represent this url so what i will do ahref i will use the hyperlink click for details and close let's reload so we have click for details if i open it in new tab it will take me to my product let's create the table go to pages create new page other site let's publish and edit with elementor remember you can apply it on anything almost anything you can apply it on order if you want to fetch your woocommerce order from one website in another website you can have it on products you can have it on customers you can have it on coupons whatever you need you can come to crest api endpoints and they will give you the endpoint url and parameter types and description also let's hide And I will insert a table, dynamic table. table. I will choose product table. So I got 10. Update. And let's save it okay so we have successfully fetch all the data from there uh, now <clears throat> let's change the limit from 10 to 100 for example 
we will go to jet engine rest api and point and let's edit and per underscore page equal to 100 let's save it and i hope it works refresh so we have 100 records here now of course we need pagination here so what i suggest go to my youtube channel i already made a video on that click on videos and here you will find a video how to add data table to your jet form jet table click on this link it will give you few lines of code copy go to your page insert html and paste your code update and you have show per page and you have searching also you have pagination also if you click here it will take you to the url of your product there is a lot of thing you which you can implement here uh, but this was a summarized view of how you can use woocommerce endpoints and woocommerce rest api with the help of jet engine using croco block if you have any question please write in the comments thank you so much